Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, what can you expect in this episode? Row the angle grinder. Besides, it doesn't need any bearings. I get a good deal on a DeWalt. I replace the claw hammer and we cut more rubbish out. Right, so I think that's brought you up to speed somewhat. So I've been out here for... Yes, that's a... Someone reversing up the street. Right, okay. <laughs> right, so I've been out here for four hours. Um, trimming back, so I left you in the last episode, we run out of light. So I thought I'd get out here, finish off what I was doing. Basically all the bits of the floor that are gone, that needed to be gone, are gone. I've not trimmed the new panel to fit or anything like that. Um, I'm going to trim the car to fit because I want as much of the new panel in as possible. Um, but what I need to do is do the repairs, like the bits and pieces that need to be sorted before I can even mock up the new floor. So the first one is this down here. So we've got the box section here. As you see, everything's trimmed out of it now. Um, everything's cleaned back. This is all really decent, but we're missing a massive chunk of it there. One thing I always say is never throw away off cuts of your panels. So this is a bit of an inner wing of a Volvo Amazon. Yes, Volvo saves the day once again. So this, it's almost like it's made to fit, will go in there with a very, very minor amount of fettling. Actually, it's that way around. So we can, that will go in there lovely. Don't ever throw away your off cuts. Even if you think it's just gonna get in the way, put a little bin aside of all your off cuts, your panels. For me, time is something I never have. Um, I always feel like I'm rushing to do a job. I haven't had to make that, all I've had to do is trim it. It's done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get that welded in. And I think in this episode what I'd like to do is also tackle this. So we have got, wherever I put it, this god awful, look at that. Look at that, that's professionally finished. Hmm. Um, so, we have this panel. This is a Magnum repair panel. Like I mentioned, I only want the very, very low part of it just to get rid of this lip basically and replace that. So what I'd like to do is basically get all of this is out, all the door bins trimmed, all of this is trimmed up to here. Like I said, I will bring the new floor, I'll cut the inner seal down on the new floor. So the main reason for this is um, you can't get right up in here really very easily to do a really good weld. So we need to repair a little section of it there. Um, this lip just needs a good tidy up and we should be able to use that again. All the bottom of the bins cleaned up, that's nice, the bins fine. Um, but what we do is we're Obviously, bring the inner seal, so you've got your inner seal of your new panel there. We'll bring that right up and we'll use that all the way along. But down here, I'll trim it down, put the new seatbelt anchor in off the new panel, and we'll trim it and we'll come along here so I can do a lovely seam weld here instead of trying to get some half decent welds up inside there. Because um, you'll see, that's quite a tight space to try and get any sort of a sensible and safe weld onto it. So, that's the way I did it on the Clubman and it worked out quite well, so basically just cut a good sheet of the steel out of the back. This is good because you can put your steel in your bin, like I've just mentioned, and you keep that for a rainy day, but it also just saves you a lot of time. Um, and like I say, it gets you a, a nice bit of, good bit of seam welding instead of trying to get a half decent blog weld in a gap you can't even see. So that's the way I've done it. I'm not telling you to do it this way, but that's the way I did it on the last one and it worked out really well. So in this episode, basically we're, pre 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 we're preparing <laughs> to get the floor in and mocked up in. Basically, so I've done all the trimming I need to do now. Now I need to do the repairs. So get this little box section a bit done and then we'll crack on with that rear quarter if we don't lose any light. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I've got some goals for 2024, which I really want to achieve. And I know I can achieve it with you guys. So um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. I love the chats we have below. So comment away anything you want down there, whether it's constructive or criticism, I really don't care. It's for me, it's just having a sort of chat. Um, yeah, and while I've got your attention, go and check out our sponsors. We have got Mini Mine. There's a link in the description below. Discount code on the screen now for 10% off their eBay store when you spend £15 or more. So please use that. That massively helps the channel out and it gets you your bits for your Mini nice and cheap. Um, and then we have frost restoration for all your tools, consumables, and stuff like that. It's a shame we couldn't help me out with the angle grinder. So just literally go to the nearest spot I can find, a shop that was open, 
And luckily that DeWalt was on offer, so I don't think it was too bad really. And it has three year warranty, so bye bye Ryobi, never buy one of them again. Well, let's get on with the, the fun task of welding and grinding. So I'm gonna get this little section in first. The welder is dragged down, ready to rock and roll. We'll get this in and then we'll start chopping that out. Let's get to it. Oh, I do miss welding in the wind. <laughs> right. Ugh. So we've got that section in there now. So that's created, obviously replicated what's on this side, back on that side. So now we've got a nice box section to put the floor back up to. That's one job ticked. So, oh, look at it. Um, let's get this cut out. So all I'm gonna do is get some sort of straight edge. And I'm gonna mark along there and I'm going to take out what I need. I'm basically going to run a line all the way along there, cut that off, and then we'll look at getting this potentially joggled. It's a lot easier to joggle it and put it up behind. Um, and then we'll get this, this welded in. And then we are basically ready in the next episode to start mucking around with this, putting that up and in. So what do you think, guys? I think that's going to be quite, quite a productive, well, basically a day. Uh, Come along. It's always fun dropping rust out, but new metal in. So let's get on with this Magnum panel. Wish me luck. Right, sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. The camera is getting covered in sparks. As you all notice, I haven't even left the garage on this. Right, so we are trimmed up now. And as I was trimming, it all cracked and went, so this was the right thing to do. Um, so it gives us a chance to get in this corner, clean all that out, because that isn't nice. But basically, once we get this off, let go, Eve, let go. Two seconds. stuck with the weld from everyone else. Oh, what is going on here? There's so much extra weld. Why is there a weld there? Oh, you poor, poor car. There was the uh, technical way of removing it. All right, that was the technical solution, guys. Um, you will now see just exactly what I mean. Look how thick that is. So there's the, oh God, it's horrible. And we cut, cut it, you see, just where the rust started. So that's why I've done it this way. All right, a bit more for scrap bin. All right, so what we need to do is get in here, rush treat all this up, tidy all that back. Um, just take this little bit out, there's a spot weld there. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna cut this to suit, joggle it, and we're gonna put it up under there. And then that's that piece, all nice. But while I've got access, I'm gonna repair this section. So I'll be right back with you. Right, and voila, so the piece of steel that was missing from there, I put that in. It's basically like welding with no gas, or the wind, but um, that's a nice weld up there. And then I've welded it all the way along the top up there. 
Um, so this is all solid again now where all the subframe connects up. All we will do is make a flange to come down here. Um, but obviously what we'll do is we'll just get this trimmed up first to go into there. Like I say, we're not using most of this panel. Um, but that's that bit done, that's a bit solid. So all the front's now ready for prep for the floor. The back's now got the bit of the inner sill that I want to keep. So like I say, I'm gonna bring the new floor pan up to this section to keep all this structure and to keep, so I don't disturb all the door bin area. Um, there's no point, because it's, look, that's beautiful, lovely rover paint, look. It's so nice up in this area. It's just where the water's congealed because of the oversill. Right, what's next? I'll trim this back, let's get it trimmed back, and um, let's get it mocked up. We are running out of light though. I know it looks very, very light, but we're not. It's coming up four o'clock and it's gonna get dark. Um, so what I wanna do is I'd really like to get this panel fit in and hopefully tacked in, and then I can leave all the inside of this in cure rust or a rust treatment. I think I've got cure rust as well I've got on the shelf. Um, so we'll come out and we'll do it a few times to get it nice and rust free in the corners. Yeah, let's crack on with it. I'll bring you guys back once I've got this panel trimmed up. Right, so we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, it's getting dark, so I just wanted to get this done. So I've got this lower piece in here, and like ever with these um, Magnum panels, they're not the best. They are repair panels, and bleep, do bear that in mind when you buy them. Um, but you can't justify buying a whole rear quarter when the top of this is mint, all around here is mint, and you don't want to cut out an original quarter if you don't have to. Um, so what we've done, is we have to put this lower edge in. I began to ground it, grind it back, but it, obviously you have a wheel arch coming down here and then it will need a light skin for fill along the bottom, just purely of the nature of this job. But now we've got a beautiful, beautiful seam now. Um, there's a little triangle a bit missing there because that's just how the panel's cut. So when we put the seal up, we can address that then. But this now, all this panel here, all in here is now rust free. So like I say, we are losing the light, but basically we are now ready to mock up that new quarter slice floor um, to go in. So I'm going to go in and have some dinner because I am knackered. It's another day on this. Um, but yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? We are getting there and that is the main thing. So from the top, this box section is now repaired and um, we put that section in down there. Again, you can't see, got no light out here. All this door steps already been done. We did that in the um, barn. That's now done. So we're happy with that. Bought door bins fine. So we're happy with that. And then we've repaired the inner sill part there. So really, we have got quite a bit done today. It all does, doesn't look any different, really. Um, but it is all this prep work that just people just do not see takes some amount of time to do. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. We can now start getting the big panel in, getting the seal on, and we can button up this side. So like I say, how much of this car I film doing, I don't know. Um, I'm struggling anyway to film here. Uh, I've been welding in the wind today, which anyone that's ever done that knows it's no fun because you're basically welding gasless. So that's no fun. But what I will do now is quite a few people ask me my welding settings and stuff like that and just before i shove it in the garage we'll just have a quick look at that so if anyone's interested have a look for the next 30 seconds right so this is my welder um kennedy turbo uh, what's it called 220 um not a cheap welder i did get help buying it um i bought it on basically through trade uh many many years ago i think about eight years now it's been a good little welder to be fair well little it is enormous um but yeah so these are my settings so, right so my wire speed i tend to have at between four or five i you alter that depending on what you're doing i've got that set to between six and seven and then down here is your power when i'm welding minis I tend to just have it on the one anything thicker stick it on the two um and i have been known to be doing like you know welding box section and stuff you can whack it right round. um any good welder will come with its spec sheet of kind of like where things should be regarding the different sizes of metal you're using and stuff like that so please do check your handbook if you do get one um, but it tells you like to put 15 percent of power in and then it tells you to adjust the amps and stuff because that's what all this is and stuff like that so a good welder also when you 
if you hear that it's got a fan to keep it cool um, that's always good my welding gas is just I have an account with Hobby Weld basically and I just swap the bottle when I'm done um, it's got more and more expensive over the years but hasn't everything uh, but yeah talking of gas we'll be needing some more very soon so yes James <laughs> um, we'll have a chat about that yeah um, but yeah I thought I'd just check that because loads of people ask me about that and I always forget to uh, just have a look at the welder so anyone that's interested start with them settings maybe my welder is quite well dialed in now it's taken me a while to set up how I want it but I'm happy with how it welds now so right this will probably be the last restoration video before Christmas um, I will do another video just to touch base with you all before Christmas enjoy the festive period I hope you get loads of tools and car parts for Christmas um, but thank you for following along this build like I say I'll film as much as I can once the floor's in we're going to skin the door this side and then we'll go around to the other side and we'll probably smash that out one that, that side out pretty quickly Catch you soon, guys. Thank you very much for watching.